to leaving batteries in an unused uh, piece of equipment, electronics like this flashlight here, will ultimately result in something that we probably all know where we've seen some shape and form, which is this right here, right? It will leak uh, the batteries that are inside. You can see in there, there's a little bit of, um, of corrosion. There we go, in here and then here. And honestly, this is due to a few things. Um, I had this specific um, flashlight here in my truck. And um, yesterday night, as I as I was coming back home, I had to check on something. And it's, I'm, I suppose this is typically how we find out about this. And I forgot I had these batteries inside. You can see it's still valid. Um, you know, we're in 2023, so this would still run. Of course, I forgot about them and they were in the charging um, chamber here, if you will, and I left in there. So long story short, um, you can see there is a little bit of corrosion in here or, you know, the buildup that um, normally happens. And I have three batteries, um, two of which have that. So I suppose the third one is probably not as good and um, they have to be properly disposed. So I'll talk about that here in a second. But how do we recover this now? Uh, that's the reason why I'm wearing gloves here. I'm going to go and show you how to do that and how to restore this. Um, and again, the reason I found about this is that when I tried to use this flashlight, um, it was really dim. So I suppose maybe two out of the three batteries were working. Um, and then when I open up, you know, I discovered then you can see there's a little bit of that, um, that stuff inside here, right? So... Let's talk about how we can um, we can restore this here. Uh, we do call this, you know, um, an acid, uh, but really this is an alkaline solution. So to neutralize this and to bring it back to a base, I'm just going to use vinegar. This is white vinegar. Um, we should all have that at home. It's fairly easy to find if you don't have one. So we're going to just restore this, and for that. Honestly, um, there's not a lot of science behind this. Uh, I'm going to use a toothbrush. And then, because it's quite small, I brought you know, two of these uh, cotton swabs in case I need to um, rub a little bit of the vinegar in there to clean the terminals in here. And then at the end, I'm just going to dry everything with some paper towels. So that's kind of about it. So my procedure here, and really um, isn't that involving, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Let's see if the camera can pick that up here. It's going to be a little bit difficult to clean this right here, right, with the springs. And that's when, you know, you're going to use the toothbrush because you can go around the springs really well. You don't want to damage that either. So you're going to go a little bit gentle in there, right? So I have the three of them. The bottom here I can get a good scrub with this. So we're kind of going to see the uh, before and after there. And then if there are areas here that I need to get, you know, the cotton swab, I can do that too. All right? I still need to clean inside here. There are some areas in there that look like they need um, some extra care. You don't want this to be super wet. You don't have to. So I'm scrubbing the terminals here on this side. On that side, you can actually see the solution. Um, you know, the vinegar here working out its way. Already did the bottoms. The bottom already looks good, so I kind of dry them out as I go. Right? So you can kind of see it. It's already, let's see if I can focus on that. There you go. It's already looking better. Right? Um, there was one side that, um, and I think I already got that cleaned up. Yes, yeah, one side that, um, Kind of felt like you need a little bit more um, of the solution there. Just be careful with, um, and you can see I have this in my hands now. That's why you want to wear gloves when you're doing this. So I'm just gonna dry. I'm just gonna dry inside here as much as I can. Okay. Looks okay. Yeah, put that on the side now. The other parts in here. Oh yeah, this got some corrosion in there too. 
so you can kind of see it yeah you can see it on the side there so let's kind of let's rub this a little bit here i still have um i, I believe i still have some vinegar in the in the toothbrush that's already looking better okay and this one we can we can definitely dry as well it's coming back with some okay yeah it's not as clean but you gotta clean here in a second and then inside here um don't think we even need to go so i think i'm just gonna use one of the swabs in here and then kind of clean my way around that see what we get out of that so it's not super wet I don't want this to be super wet I don't want to damage anything but I do Let's see if that there I want to make sure that I I get most out of the you know that chemical reaction out of this here now so let's see Okay, so it's coming back clean. Um, it actually looks clean. So I'm gonna use one flashlight to see inside of the other one. Yeah, that looks clean. Okay, so that part is done. Um, and that's all you need right now. So we'll reassemble everything here. Just gonna wait for this to dry and then uh, we'll test it out. Okay, so now that things are dried, I got some new batteries um, and I kind of want to talk a little bit about this these are my preferred batteries right now they're rechargeable I get them in Ikea um, they're different than the other one as you can see in here these are a lot of 750 they're triple-a batteries the others were also triple-a batteries um, one of the one of the things that I want to say is I mean you definitely and I use this for my radio for my headlamps in other places so I'll have a different uh, video on that, but I definitely don't want to be just generating more of this, you know. Of course, this can also leak, but it's a lot harder than the other ones there. Uh, what happened to the other one real quick is um, it's normal um, to have, when you have batteries in the long run, say sitting on, on a piece of equipment like this one here, um, over time, that is a gas. So essentially you have hydrogen gas um, build up inside of these batteries this is especially true for alkaline batteries like that and then as they, they they will leak over time right and what happens there is that you have also um, potassium hydroxide and when potassium hydroxide gets in touch with um, just air you have that white powder that we saw all over the map so it's kind of a rundown 30 seconds explanation of why that happens now let's put this in here and I uh, have an idea of how this is working or not working at this point. So if I put that on like that, okay, and uh, like that, I have the right terminals in here. So put that back in. There you can already see that it's on. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you fix it.